Hey guys, Repairman here to repair your builds. I want to know what you're thinking, Kara. What is it good for? And you're thinking, absolutely nothing. But no, actually, there is some phenomenal cases to use it. And I have two different cars for two different purposes. So I'll show you both, and I'm going to demo one. Because the other is kind of just self-explanatory how it works in the mission. Alright, so here is the tank build for Gara. Take a little bit more forma for this one, especially if you don't want the polarity to be a factor in mattering. Like I, I don't. I want to be able to throw in any aurora on any of my frames, as you guys know. I am not wanting to be limited and say, "Oh, I can't fit that aurora because it doesn't match." Nah, this is pro leagues, buddy. We gotta make these builds so we can always throw on any aurora that's the best thing for whatever we come up across for whatever mission. Alright, so if you have the absolute end all be all of Arcanes, you got Grace, you got uh, Energizer, you I throw those two on. Specifically Grace to regen, because you got lots of health, you got lots of damage resistance. Not only do you have s steel fiber to give you some built in uh, damage resistance, but on the outside, before it even touches you, you have your uh, glass that goes and reduces your damage by 90%. And then even more reduced when that 10% that does make it through is reduced even more by your armor. And with Grace, you're going to regen a bunch. you got a lot of health on this build, so you're going to be really survivable with this build. Um, and energize, you get energy, you can now eat more easily, cast that on your allies, you can cast it on their sentinels, their kubros, the specters, um, you used to be able to cast it on the targets, like sorties and other things, um, uh, things change. Uh, and you can no longer, uh, hang on, actually, no, it's been a while since I tested don't quote me on that one. I, don't, I can't remember that one. But you can no longer cast it on the operator. That was the main thing that we were using it like crazy when it first came out. Because you go do a Kuva mission, you'd cast it on the operator, and 90% damage resistor on the operator. How can you beat that? <laughs> so that was great. Now, for those of you that don't have Arcane Grace, um, or um, and you don't have arcane energize the, the key thing on this build is grace for your own survivability uh, if you don't have energizer not the end of the world for this build you can either throw on arcane guardian to complement the regen or give it more regen a second grace or just some random one you feel like it but one grace is really helpful and almost mandatory for this build to work Unless you're running with a, a Necros, then it doesn't matter what arcanes you have on it, because you're picking up orbs all the time, that's going to regen you quite enough for this build to work great. Otherwise, go shields. Shields re self-regen. Of course, if you don't have health regen, but you happen to have the shield regen, like Arcane Argus, Arcane Barrier, phenomenal have those on here. If you have those arcanes, or if you don't, that's going to be the key to what build you have as well. So now, if you don't have those arcanes, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have more shield regen. So you're uh, you're going to want to have vigilante vigor instead of prime vigor. Now, what this is going to do is going to give you a substantial amount more regen per second. Sure, your max cap will be lower, but your survivability will go up if you don't have the arcanes. Of course, with the arcanes, they proc based upon you taking damage. Barrier fully restores, so more shields, more that's restored. Arcane Argus, not as affected as much so, but you have more shields to hit, means you have more chance for it to proc, and then it will give you... Uh, a set number of energy or, or shields per second. Last to check it, it was 60. Now that's that build. That's just damage resistance, you know, tanky. Now, the build I run very often, this one is really handy. This is the glass wall build. 
lots of strength lots of armor and to top it off I even have arcane guardian which gives it even more armor than your frame has because you only have a little over 300 so arcane guardian adds another 600 to that so you're packing 918 armor when that procs now just to complement that and gives you a little bit more survivability in the mission I got vitality give you a little health to go with that all that armor and arcane grace to give you regen on top of that and staying united to give you even more armor that makes the glass wall even more powerful you could use arcane uh, or growing power too if you don't have staying united both will work great um, certain frames I've tested that and they've basically give you the same amount other frames one benefits you more than the other this one I didn't test that and it wasn't as big of a drastic uh, change as the other stats and things on here so all right let's get into it and not only that but that gives you more survivability as where our uh, growing power doesn't give you any extra survivability so even if they're close extra survivability in my eyes for interception especially if you're going long interception is more worthwhile all right so let's get into a interception mission and show you how this works now with the Zenistar and Gara you can hold down basically three locations with one frame so everybody leaves might kind of suck a little bit but not the end of the world you can hold down the place if one person stays you can still hold down the other three you're gonna motor through it quick of course if the whole team's there I generally just focus on two and have the other three players focus on those other two spots and then basically one person on each of those two and the weaker one or the stronger one depending on which there's more of uh, goes between those two targets and make sure they're up and running of course though when the waves just very first starting I'll generally have the players go and uh, help me capture one of the two that I'm holding down no oh, shit nobody's here looks like we're gonna have a true test of holding down three spots <laughs> right, let's get that Zenistar back down here bam all right so as you see that Zenistar especially if you get that uh, spring-loaded blade procced it's gonna cover this whole spot here give you some nice crowd control give you some pretty decent damage it's only gonna hold pop, pop out there for like a little under 50 seconds so don't have a phenomenal amount of time but enough to do some other things get rid of some enemies and then uh, come back take care of business All right, so I'm actually gonna go and throw this on the very far point the uh, Garus bubble and that will just hold this. This one over here is probably the easiest one to hold down with Gara Shield. Let's go uh, basically center. As soon as they get right up to there, you don't actually want them to go past because if they happen to spawn inside, sometimes they do, then they uh, can access the panels. Not just because they're they're hit. There's only me here, and it's lower levels and stuff. I'm gonna cast it despite not having my energy. Uh, or growl energy um, yeah. arcane guardian procced still gonna oh I should have let him hit me oh he's still alive there we go now I cast oh and I don't have the energy conversion oh well I should hold it you see I can't get it can't get up to those consoles. Eh, that one actually kind of close. They probably should, won't be able to hit it. I want to find out. Just go to some of the other ones. I just see here. It's like, oh shit, they're they have a lead on me, and I'm the only one in the mission. Well, eh, don't worry. I'll, I'll make that lead up. Bust out the Zenistar after I capture one, and then I go hold down another spot. Game over. They ain't, they ain't touching shit. Bam, Zenistar out. I'm going to B. There you go. 
holding down three locations. Of course, you got to keep an eye on that Zenistar timer and just keep an eye at the bottom. That number 12 shows how many of your shields are still up. Of course, at this level, they're, <laughs> they're probably not going to be able to break through that shield, uh, even though I didn't have arcane uh, or, uh, energy conversion proc. They're still they're probably not going to be able to break through it for quite a long time. You know, since there's not that many enemies, I'm going to even go for capturing the fourth one. Making that lead up, catching up, as you see. Zenith starts down, so probably want to go down there, toss that down. Probably a good idea to throw it on the f the farthest one or the hardest to get to one. Well, I don't know about the hardest. I don't want to put it up there. You got to run up there more often. Hmm. How about you? They're all just sitting there banging on that wall trying to get in. <laughs> yeah, they just they they like oh, we want C. Yep, so it's just holding that down. <laughs> That's funny. Throw the Zenistar out again. And literally, I, uh, this mission is not about killing, so it really doesn't matter if you kill them at all. Unless you're just trying to get energy orb for that energy proc. Oh, there you see, it looks like they're probably trying to head up to D. D and C on this particular map is often what the enemy go for. So if you're wondering, hey, you know, which one should I really focus on protecting? Sandy. Other ones don't take as much of a hits. That's that. As you see, one man to interception, pretty easy. Might not have been the fastest, but it works and it scales pretty well. I mean, I usually I went in here 20 rounds, and then when the other three people left or two people left, and it was just me and my buddy, we we stayed for another round or two, even at uh, that high level, because we were still able to tank it pretty easily. Yeah. Until next time, you guys keep them for my cooking.